In this video, we are going to understand about the internal bisector of a triangle, some of the properties of that. Internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side internally in the ratio of sides containing angle. Seems to be something very complicated. But let's look at it. Internal bisector of an angle. So let's take angle A over here. And let's say this particular line which we are looking at, let this be called AD, is the internal bisector of angle A. What that means is that the value of angle BAD, let's call it as A, and CAD, let's call it as small b, will be equal. Or in other words, because it's an internal bisector, the value of angle A should be equal to angle B. Right? The internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side. Which is the opposite side which we are talking about over here? It is BC. And this bisector is dividing BC into two parts, which is what? BD and DC. So what the theorem says is that the internal bisector of one side divides the opposite side in the ratio of side containing the angle. Which is the side which are containing the angle? It's basically AB and AC. Right? So what this means is that the ratio of BD, this and DC, should be actually equal to the ratio of AB is to AC. Or in other words, BD upon DC should be equal to AB upon AC. Right? Now how do we prove this? So what I'll do is, I'll just erase this point from here. Right? Now, so in order to achieve this result, what I'll do is, I'll draw a line parallel to AD. Draw. sorry draw parallel to AD which is we'll extend this point C until the point it reaches let's say we call this point as E and AD is parallel to CE draw parallel to AD let's call it as CE and what we do is we just extend AB to go and meet this line over here. Let's call these two angles which is this as small c and this as small d. Right? Now what we learn from here is basically if you look at this, this particular line is parallel to this. Right? Angle B should be equal to angle C. This particular angle should be equal to this particular angle. Why? These are alternate angles. Remember, you have this, these two parallel lines. Okay. And this is a line which cuts over here. So the angle over here is equal to angle over here. These are alternate angles. Similarly, what we also notice is that angle A, which is angle 1, should be equal to angle D. Why? Because these are corresponding angles. This is a line which is parallel to this line. This is also here. So corresponding angles. Right? And of course, we are given that angle A is equal to angle D. So what does this mean? This means that actually angle B is equal to angle D. Because angle A is equal to angle B, angle A is equal to angle D. So it just implies that angle A is actually equal to angle D. Right? And similarly, we can also replace over here to say angle C is equal to angle D. Because angle A is equal to angle B. Right? And angle B is equal to angle C. So effectively you get angle C is equal to angle D. So now if you look at this particular triangle, triangle ACE, 
you have what we call angle C is equal to angle D right and what we also have is that AC should be equal to AE why because sides opposite to equal angles in a triangle are equal so C is opposite sorry AE is opposite to C and similarly to angle D you have AC which is opposite at a larger scale if you see if I look at triangle BCE in this triangle you have AD which is parallel to CE now what does this mean this means that if these two sides are parallel then AD divides the two other sides proportionately applying the Thales theorem or in other words AB upon AE should be equal to BD upon DC don't get into the actual heights of these things they will not matter but this is what the theorem says right but AE over here I've seen is equal to AC so I can write this as AB upon AC should be equal to BD upon DC right and basically this is what we had to prove that the internal bisector of the angle which is AD divides the opposite side internally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle and hence we have proved this property